Hello everyone, I am Scutlist. It has been a while, hasn't it? I was generally starting to think that the Dynasty Warriors games were just plain over. Since Dynasty Warriors 9 Empire is the only Dynasty Warriors game we've gotten, is Shin Sengoku Musu Apuri, a mobile game that is currently exclusive to Japan. My thought was that maybe Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors were both over, and the only Warriors games we'd be getting going forward were collaboration titles like Hyrule Warriors. So, I was quite surprised when Sony's State of Play revealed a new entry in the franchise, Dynasty Warriors Origins. After nothing for two years, we have a new console Dynasty Warriors game to talk about. Without further waiting, let's get into things. As you can tell from the name, this is not a new numbered installment. This is a spin-off. Dynasty Warriors Origins, not Dynasty Warriors 10. It also focuses on a character simply called a nameless hero. This is, I presume, a create a character you'll make when you start the game, and this is simply his default design. He is seen using a variety of weapons. Throughout the trailer we can see him with a sword, with a lance, with a staff, and even fighting with claws. Based on how create a characters are handled in Warriors games, we can expect him to be able to use literally every weapon in the game. We can also see him giving archers the order to fire and leading cavalry in a charge, which seems like a fusion between Dynasty Warriors and Bladestorm. Outside of this protagonist, we also see a few familiar characters, Sao Tsao giving orders on the battlefield. He also looks rather young and not sporting his familiar facial hair. Perhaps this will be like Liu Bei in Dynasty Warriors 9, who is clean-shaven at the start of the story but gets himself facial hair later on. Liu Bu tearing across soldiers while on a horse, and we can also see Guan Yu in this shot. How many other characters we might get is of course currently unknown. If I miss any familiar Dynasty Warriors characters in the trailer, feel free to leave a comment down below as to who I missed. Will every character from the franchise return? Maybe, maybe not. This is a spin-off, and the spin-offs aren't as consistent with getting everyone in. Plus, Koei Tecmo has more than once expressed exhaustion with recording voice lines for the many characters we have in this franchise. They may try to do here what they did in Samurai Warriors 5, or even the heavily disliked Dynasty Warriors 6 and cut the roster down a bit. Not having the full franchise roster isn't a desirable prospect, but it's something that should be kept in mind. The story of this game will obviously be our traditional Three Kingdoms storyline, but remixed to involve this nameless hero. I'm picturing this will be reminiscent of the Samurai Warriors Chronicles games, where you create your character and go through the time period playing as this one character. How will the nameless hero be incorporated into the story? Will he just be defaulted into the atypical good guy faction of Shu? Or perhaps this is a choose your faction kind of game and we can choose any of the major factions. How far will the story stretch? Will we go all the way to the fall of Chengdu, as has been the norm since Dynasty Warrior 7? Or will we end it earlier? Perhaps they'll follow the example of Samurai Warriors 5, which rather than go all the way to Osaka Castle, instead ended it at Yamazaki. And in this game, perhaps we'll only go as far as the Battle of Cherby. If that ends up being the case, will the Jin faction be absent in the game outside of Sumiyi? This is just speculation on my part, of course. There's no immediate reason at this time to believe we won't have the story up in Chengdu. We currently know next to nothing about this game. All information we have is contained in this trailer. Still, it's confirmation of a new console Dynasty Warriors game after two solid years without one. And after two years, let's hope they learn from the mistakes of Dynasty Warriors 9. My interest is peaked, and I'll have my ear to the ground as more information eventually comes. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.